Yo, what's up? Oh, this is going to be a good video for you. And why? It's because it's the 15 reasons why so many men struggle with modern dating and why I decided to do this because basically it's a recap from the channel Playing With Fire. Playing With Fire is a dating channel with 180,000 subscribers and he interviewed women on the street and that's what we're going to talk about today. But listen, this is your first time at my channel. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor and this channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification button because I'm dropping a video every day for y'all. All right. 15 reasons why so many men struggle with modern dating. And again, as I mentioned, I'm doing a recap of all the, basically the 15 things that these women have said from interviews, the playing with fire, the channel playing with fire, what they, he did, I believe it was in Miami, stopping women randomly asking the same question. Why do so many men, men struggle with modern dating? So I'm going to read off the responses so that you can think about that and then have a couple suggestions afterwards, all right? So I made some notes. So, number one, men are not men, okay? So clearly that means to me that just men are not masculine like they used to be. So number one, men are not men. Number two, men are little bitches acting feminine. <laughs> hey, this is interesting. Over the last 50 years, or like since the 1970s, Men's testosterone level is 50% less than what it used to be in 1970s. Interesting. Number three, men don't want to be rejected. Yeah, that is true because very, very few men cold approach women because they're afraid of rejection. Men are ugly. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, not funny because true. And I think what they mean is that basically physically and i'm not talking about what your face looks like mostly their bodies a lot of i see a lot of men that are overweight they're not in shape they're very effeminate and guys the number one thing you can do as as, as a dating coach telling you this you need to get to the gym you need to work on yourself you don't have to be perfect but the more the more you go to the gym and you work your, yourself the more masculine you're going to appear and the hotter the women that you're going to date. All right, next, number five. Men are lost in the mix from dating apps. Okay. Uh, so how I take that is there's just too many options. Uh, all right. So if you're on dating apps, no, if, yeah, if you're on dating apps, women that are on dating apps, you may not know this, but average looking woman will get at least 50 to 100 messages per day, 50 to 100 messages per day. You come along, let's say a week later and you send her a message. She's not seeing it because it's a full-time job to just filter through those damn messages. Right? So I get that. All right. Number six, men want situationships. All right. Number seven, this is a big one. Number seven, men are addicted to pornography. Yeah. So I agree with that one. I really encourage you guys to learn more about NoFap. Well, you don't have to learn more about NoFap. If you're not familiar with NoFap, it's no masturbation, no pornography. Now, I'm not perfect, but I practice that for as long as possible before I need a release. Typically, it's about one to two weeks and I need a release because it's driving me crazy. But what happens is when you stop masturbating and you stop looking at pornography, it rewires your brain and you stop seeing everything through the lens of sexuality. You don't, you're not impressed by seeing a woman's ass like you used to be. Okay. You appreciate it, but you're not, it's not going to trigger you to now think of sex and go back to your place and masturbate. You will go out on dates and not think, oh, we're going to have sex tonight. You, you're more relaxed. You're more chill. You're not triggered by things that you will normally get triggered by. I'm, I'm serious, man. Like really, you really need to try it. 
just avoid the temptation and try to push it out for more, longer and longer periods. And then at one point when your body is like, I've had enough, fine, release. By the way, there's scientific evidence that when you do release, it takes a week for your body to replenish that loss of testosterone. But then after a week, it stays the same. It's not like you're going to get more testosterone the longer you postpone masturbation. That, that's not going to happen. You reach, a, you reach a max after an ejaculation, and at max, one week, it takes you to get back up to that, and then it kind of stabilizes. It might fluctuate a little bit, but it's not like you're going to keep getting more and more and more testosterone. Um, that's a fallacy the, when you don't masturbate for like longer, longer periods. No. But like I said, and I'm, I'm going on a bit of a tangent about this because it's very important. But when you, when you practice no fap, I'm serious, man. It just rewires your brain. You don't think of sex like you used to, and you're not impressed by women. Like, or not impressed, but you don't see them in the same, um, you don't sexualize everything like you used to. And you just see them as a person, and they're beautiful, but you're not triggered like you would normally be. Anyways, I really encourage you to try it. Check it out. Women can also sense that energy, that masculine energy, and they're like, wow, that guy's got big dick energy, right? All right, moving on. Number eight, men are half men. This has to do with men not being masculine, right? Okay, number nine, men lack emotional intelligence. Yep, I get that. Um, well, you're watching this video, so hey, Kudos to you guys, because clearly you want to learn how to be better in your dating. And a lot more men need to watch channels like this. So number 10, men have unrealistic expectations. Yeah, I get that. Um, especially if they want to sleep with the woman on the first date, or they want to get married next week. They want her to be his girlfriend. Um, but ultimately, it goes to them not understanding women. So number 11, men don't want to put in the work. Oh, right. <laughs> this is true. Okay, perfect example of two things. One, I don't see a lot of men going to the gym. All right, three examples. I don't see a lot of men going to the gym. I don't see a lot of men um, wanting to learn about women and how to interact with them better. And third, this is the big one, love languages. Very few men know what the fuck the five love languages are. And I'm telling you, every woman, young, old, in between, doesn't matter, they all know what the five love, lang love languages are. They all know what their five love languages are. And if a guy doesn't know what the fucking five love languages are, like, you're an idiot. Every woman knows this. And I did a video on it, check it out. And basically, the love languages are touch, words, time, service, gifts, and how you respond, which ones you respond most to. Before I go on a first date, I ask every woman, what are your top three love languages? She needs to have physical touch in her top three because I shared this in a few other of my videos. I was in a sexless marriage. I want to avoid being rejected with affection ever, like for, forever in my life. So now I specifically want a woman that appreciates physical touch. Touch has to be in their top three. And I do not go on a first date if it's, if it's not in the top three. So I get that men don't want to put in the work. So number 12, men just want to hook up. Yep, I get that. Um, however, in fairness, that's the culture and that's what a lot of women are putting out there and showing their ass and being very proactive provocative in their videos and their pictures. So there's a kind of a little bit about that. Number 13, men don't know how to read women. Right. But you guys are watching this video. So you're learning. Okay. So good for you. Number 14, men are not confident. Right. And one of the ways to build your confidence guys with women is you need to have more conversations with women and specifically with beautiful women strike up a conversation with someone at the bar a restaurant bar if there's two women together not if she's sitting with a guy because 
but probably on a date. That would be weird. But strike up, strike up a conversation with two women that are sitting at a bar. Maybe approach a woman in a grocery store, not because you want to get a date or anything, but you're just curious. You want to ask them about something that you're trying to find or whatever. You need to get comfortable approaching women, having conversations with women, and especially beautiful women. And then it gets easier when you do approach them cold. Let's say they're standing there waiting for the bus or the train, whatever, and that's a perfect opportunity, or in the grocery store, a perfect opportunity to kind of you know, get in there, strike up a conversation. So I get it. Men are not confident, and that's why. They're just not, haven't had enough practice. And last, number 15, men, which is tied to the number 14, men, number 15, men don't know how to approach women, 100%. So keep watching my videos. I will teach you more and more how to do that, but it, you have to do all the back-end work first, just like in basketball, in order for you to shoot, land more hoops, land more three-pointers, you have to practice, practice, practice. So you have to speak to more women, beautiful women, and be comfortable in their presence, all right? So listen, man, thank you so much for watching, and let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you next time.